हेलो फ्रेंड्स सब्सक्राइब करें हमारे चैनल को और बेल आइकन को भी दबाएं ताकि सारी लेटेस्ट अपडेट और वीडियो आप तक पहुंचे सबसे पहले शंग छद्वम संवद्वद्वम शंभो मनाशी जानता देवाभागम यथा पूर्व संजाना उपाशते फर्स्ट स्टैंड इन थर्ड आशना मेक श्योर दैट यूर बैक्स टू डिस्ट्रॉय देन कीप योर फार्म्स ऑन योर वेस्ट टेक इन हेल मूव योर हैंड बैकवर्ड एंड लुक अप एट द सीलिंग Exhale, move your head forward and look at the floor. Take inhale, move your head up and look up at the ceiling. Exhale, roll your neck and look at the floor. Now take inhale, look straight. The breathing with exhalation, move your head to your right side and try to touch your right ear on your right shoulder. Inhale, come up in the center. Exhale. This time, try to touch your left ear on your left shoulder. Inhale. Exhale. Repeat it from right side. Inhale. Come up in the center. Exhale. Move your head to your left side. Now take inhale. Come up in the center. Now we will do neck rotation here. Now rotate your neck clockwise five times. One. Two, three, four, one more, and five. Now look straight. Now this time rotate your neck opposite side and take clockwise. Five, four, three. Two and one. Now look straight. Next, we will practice of Iskandar Sanchalana. First, keep your fingertip on your shoulder, then rotate your shoulders five times. Three, four, and five. Now, rotate your shoulders opposite side five times. Make sure that your neck should relax and keep your back straight. Three, two, and one. Now release your hands. Next, we will practice of a spine twisting. Take inhale. Raise your hands up. Line up your shoulder. Exhale. Move your both hands to your right side and twist your spine completely to your right side. And look back at your right hand. Now take inhale. Look straight. With exhale, breathe out and this time twist your spine to your left side and look back at your left hand. Now take inhale, look straight, exhale, release your hands. Now we will practice of knee movement. Inhale, raise your hands, exhale, fold your knees in 90 degree. Look straight. Now take inhale, come up. Exhale, release your hands. You can repeat it four to five times. Now we are practicing of Tadashana. Inhale, raise your hands up over the head. Interlock your fingers and stretch your hands outside. Take inhale, lift your heels up and come on your toes. Keep stretch your body upward. Extend your spine and keep relax your shoulders. Exhale, breathe out and come back. Now release your hands. Next, Brikshasana. First, stand in Tadashana. Now switch your body weight on your left leg, lift your right leg and place your right feet inside of your left thigh. Now take inhale, raise your hands and join your palms together over the head. Look straight and concentrate a center point in front of you. Now breathe out and release your both hands and legs together. Next we will practice of Padahastashana. Inhale, raise your hands. Exhale, breathe out and move forward with extending spine. Move your hand and upper tongue together. Now place your palms on the floor. And if you are more challenging, then breathe out and fold forward completely. Try to touch your forehead below your knees. And stay here for a few breaths. Then take inhale, stretch your hands up. 
Exhale, release your hands and come back to Tadasana. Next, we will practice over the Chakrasana. First, feet apart and put your palms on your buttocks. Then take inhale, press your buttocks forward and arch your back as much as you can. Extend your spine, keep relaxed your shoulder, open your chest and roll your shoulder back. Then take inhale, come up and release your hands. Next, Trikonasana. First, make feet apart and turn your right feet to your right side. Take inhale, raise your hands up, line of your shoulders. Exhale, bend your right waist, extend your spine and move to your right side. Now place your right hand on your right ankle. Make sure that your both hands are parallel of your shoulder, your buttocks are parallel and turn your head up and look at your left hand. Now take inhale, raise your hands up, exhale, breathe out, release your feet and release your hand. We are practicing our Bhadrasana or Bhadrakonasana for sitting in Dandasana. Then fold your right knee, then fold your left knee and interlock your fingers and hold your feet with your hands and try to touch your knees on the floor and make sure that your back is straight and keep looking straight and take normal breath then exhale breathe out and release your both legs now we will practice our Ardha Ustrasana for that first sit in Vajrasana now come on your knees now place your palms on your buttocks then take inhale push your buttocks forward and arch your back Open your chest, roll your shoulders back and look backward. Stay here for a few breaths. Then exhale, breathe out and slowly come back and sit back in Vajrasana. Then open your knees. Now place your palms on the floor between your knees. Then walk your hands forward and slowly, slowly lean forward and try to touch your chin and forehead on the floor. Position of Sasangasana, rabbit pose. Then take inhale, walk your hands back and bring your knees together. Now we will practice support the Mandukasana. Open your knees. Take inhale, raise your hands. Then breathe out, bend your both elbows and place your palms as you can see. Inhale, raise your both hands up. Exhale, breathe out and release your hands. Then sit in the Dandasana. Take inhale, bend your right knee and place your heel close to your buttock. Inhale, raise your left hand. Exhale, place your palms outside of your right feet and twist your spine to your right side. Try to keep your right chin line of your right shoulder position of Bakarasana. Then take inhale, raise your hands. Exhale, breathe out and release your hands and relax together. Now lay down on the abdomen. Now take inhale, keep your chin on the floor, then place your palms side of the chest. Take inhale, press your palms to the floor and lift your chest up, look it straight and roll your shoulder back. If you are more challenging, you can lift your chest more as much as you can. Open your chest, keep relax your neck. Stay here for a few breaths, then breathe out and slowly come back. Then release your hands. Again, look it straight and place your palms side of the buttocks, palms facing downward. Inhale, raise your both legs up. Position of Ardha Salvashana. Keep engage your core. Exhale, breathe out, release your leg and turn your neck one side. Now, place your both palms on the floor. Now put your head on your palms and turn your head one side. Keep you spread your feet and close your eyes. Position up, Makarasana. Keep breathing and relax your whole body. Keep breathing and stay here for few breath now lay down on the floor first fold your both knees bring your heel close to your buttocks then catch your ankles and with inhale raise your buttocks up as much as you can position of setu bandhasana stay here for few breath then breathe out and slowly rest your buttocks on the floor and release your both legs Now bring your fourth piece together and place your palm side of the buttocks. With inhale, raise your both legs in 45 degree. Inhale, 80. Inhale, 90 degree. Exhale, drop your legs down. Then 60, 45 degree, 30. Then slowly come back. Now we're practicing our Pavanamukta Ashna. First bend your both knees 
and bring your knees close to your chest, then interlock your fingers and hold your knees with your both hands. Then take inhale, lift your head up and try to touch your head or chin on your knee. With exhale, breathe out, release your head down, release your hands and release your both legs. Place your palms side of the buttocks. With inhale, raise your both legs up in 90 degree. Keep it straight your knees and your tailbone should completely on the floor and keep activated toes. Position up at the Halasana. Stay here for a few breaths. Then breathe out and slowly, slowly release your legs. Now take Shavasana. Lay down completely, palms facing upward and close your eyes. Relax your whole body. Become aware of your natural breath and remain in this position until you feel refreshed and relaxed. After Shavasana, you can sit in any meditative posture. You can sit in Sukhasana, Padmasana or Shiddhasana. Keep your palms in Jnana Mudra. Now close your both eyes. Now take inhale with your both nostrils and expand your chest. Then exhale, breathe out and with exhalation contract your abdomen muscles and relax. You can repeat this Kriya 25 to 30 times. Practice of a Kapal Bhati. Then take natural breath and try to make relax your physical and mental body. Next, we will practice of Anulom Bilom Pranayama. First, make a Pranayama Mudra with your right hand and keep your left hand in Jnana Mudra. Now, close your right nostril. Take inhale through your left nose. Now, close your left nose and exhale. Breathe out through your right nostril. Then inhale through your right nostril. Exhale. Breathe out through your left nostril again take inhale through your left nostril now close your left nostril and exhale breathe out through your right nostril continue practice of this pranayama 5 to 10 minutes inhale through your right nostril exhale through the left then release your hands and make your hands in Jnana Mudra. Next, we will practice our Brahmari Pranayam. First, take in here, raise your hands and close your ear through your thumb and place your other fingers on your eyes. Now, take inhale. With exhale, make honeybee sound. Repeat it 5 to 10 time. After that, release your hands and make your hands in Jnana Mudra. Keep close your eyes and make Sankalpa in your mind and say, I commit to make myself into a healthy, peaceful, joyful and loving human being. Through every action of mine, I will strive to create a peaceful and loving atmosphere around me. I strive to break the limitation of who I am right now and include the entire world as my own. Now we are going to finish this session with a Swanti part. Om Sarve Bhavantu Shukinaha Sarve Shantu Niramaya Sharve Bhadrani Pashyantu Maka Shedduk Bhagavad Om Shanti 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 Hari Om